Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to apply the acrylic effect to every context menu in Windows 11. So for those of you who don't know, when you use the context menu in Windows 11, you have this nice acrylic effect that is applied to the new context menu. As you can see, it has some sort of a transparency to it and uh, it's a really nice effect if you ask me. But if you are using the classic context menu, as you can see, it has a pretty ugly look compared to the other one. I know that some people that use Windows 11 have done some tweaks in order to be able to only use this context menu, this classic context menu. If you don't know how to do that, I'm going to leave you a link to an article down below in which I show you how to use this classic context menu in Windows 11 if you want. But this is the only slight disadvantage, I may say, that it doesn't have that acrylic effect. It looks a lot more uglier. But in this video, I'm going to show you a small little tool that will help us to bring that acrylic effect, bring this acrylic effect to every context menu from Windows 11, even if that is the classic one. So in this video, we're going to use a tool created by a GitHub developer. Yet again, it is called Acrylic Menus. A small disclaimer before doing anything, these tools that I show you in these videos are tools that can change or do some modifications to important system files. So of course, there are some risks in these processes. So I strongly recommend you either do a system restore point before applying any of these tools or maybe trying this on a virtual machine first see how it's working and stuff like that. As I've said, it can always have a risk because we are modifying Windows files. So this is not an official method of doing this. Of course, we are applying some third party tools and apps and modifying some DLL files in order to be able to apply that acrylic effect. So if you're interested in that, you're going to have this link down below in the article from the description. And from here, you'll be able to download the app that will apply this acrylic effect to Windows 11 as well as you can see. To download, we're going to click on releases. Of course, on that GitHub page, you can read more info about this software. We have the latest version, so I'm going to leave you in the article down below also this link where you can find the newest versions of this software. And we're going to download the version for Windows 11. By the way, it also works for Windows 10, but we're going to download for Windows 11. We're going to download the zip file and we downloaded it. I dragged and dropped it to my desktop and then I'm going to right click on it, show more options and then extract to. And we have that archive now into a folder. And as you can see, we have a DLL and an injector that will help us do those modifications. All you need to do is to double click on this injector and we'll launch that tool and also a CMD box. And now we have that acrylic effect applied. I will show it to you in a second. But if you ever want to unhook it, just press any key and then exit from this screen. We're going to have to leave it open if you want to have that effect applied. So now we're going to click on show more options and you're going to see that we now have that acrylic effect. As you saw, because it's still in the works. We have a slight delay and a bit of a flicker before that acrylic effect is applied, but I'm not gonna lie, the end result is really, really beautiful. And if you are using only this classic context menu, of course, I think you're gonna like this app. As you can see, it looks really, really good. We no longer have that matte color scheme. We now have that acrylic background applied to the context menu, to every context menu from Windows 11. So let's just go into a folder and we're gonna right click and show more options. And you're gonna see that the acrylic effect is also applied to any context menu. Of course, here we cannot see that effect because we have only a um, solid background, but that doesn't matter. I think it's really, really cool and um, you can use it, of course. And as I've said, if you want to unhook it, just press any key and then exit from here and you're going to see that now it is completely disabled. And of course, you can restart your computer. If you want to undo the changes, you can then delete everything. If you don't like the results, it's really, really simple. If you want this to start when you're opening up your operating system, System, just press the Windows plus R keys at the same time on your keyboard and here type in shell to points startup, press enter. And then all you need to do is to go right click on this injector file, show more options and then send to desktop, create a shortcut. We basically created just a shortcut and then you can copy and paste this shortcut there because it will need this DLL file also to be able to open it. So this is how easily you can do this. Just copy this in here. And when you open up your operating system, that will also open up. Of course, as I've said, if I can think of two disadvantages when using this tool is that we, you have a slight delay when that acrylic effect is applied. And you will also have a permanent program that will be opened in your taskbar. But I think it is better than nothing. So let me know down below in the comments, what do you think about this tool? And if you used it or if you plan to use it, let me know down below. Don't forget that all the links are in the article 
article down below from the description. And also you have a second link with an article in which I show you how to enable the classic context menu in Windows 11, which is also a pretty simple process. Don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.